Hello, hi, I am Patricia McNeely from Twin Flames Merge. I'm an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? How is everything going? So today we're on the other side of this new moon and I decided not to really talk about some of the stuff having to do with the new moon. However, this has been a very much an emotional time for a lot of people. So what I'm going to talk to you about in this video is the direction of where this is going. So I prepared a short little side presentation just to give you a taste of some of what it is that I do. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start that. Okay. Now, just so you know, Many people want to know what's happening. What's happening right now? What is going on with things? What's coming up? When is this going to happen or when is that going to happen? It has a lot to do with your light body and you're in a new timeline. The wave that you, and this means both of you, are in is about, it's about to move. It's a new timeline. You have choices. And the choices are how fast and how soon. In other words, how fast can you go? How soon can you make things happen? How soon will some things come together and begin concluding and finishing for you or for your twin? So if you're hung up on the past, it will keep repeating until you do your part to let go. But that letting go is not simply mental. It is emotional, it is psychic, it is physical and etheric. And that is what I help people with so that you can release the toxic stuff of the past and stop repeating it. Or how do you help your twin? Because it's easy for people to say, hey, just let it go as though you can stop thinking about it and yet it keeps coming up or things keep repeating themselves. Everything around you is willing to be harmonious to you. It is you who is finding the harmony within. So strange as it may seem, when you have two people as wondrous as you two, you will find that it is very magical while together. And yet when you're apart, it is difficult to hold the love. Everything in the universe wants to honor the love that you are, yet it's time for changing. What are you changing? Painful addictions to the past, you're changing your lives, your lifestyles, companions and groups amongst other things have you ever felt like you're traveling in two separate vessels from deep inside your body the human part of you that spiritual DNA resides deep within you you've had activation particularly if you've interacted with your twin or met in this or the past couple lives Yet the awakening and growth continues, and that is because you have five subtle bodies. Are you ready for the crescendo of the wave that's coming? This time is more important for the solstice than you realize. So even though we're in October right now as I'm recording this, I've been getting a lot of information about November and the solstice. Find out how during my live webinars in which I give you live demonstrations and educate you in your light body. You are fitting yourselves together. Integration is but a part of the process. And yes, many people would love to hug, cuddle, be kissed, be touched by their twin, start living together. But even people who live together have distinct challenges of letting go of the past. So when you have so many feminine, and this is the divine feminine part of you, both, how about the masculine? And just a little PS here. The masculine can also be hetero, gay, lesbian, or trans. So join my live webinar. This week, the theme is the elevation of you and those around you. It'll be October 20th at 7 p.m. That's a Friday evening in Chicago. These times are good for the USA, the West Coast, Hawaii, Australia, New Zealand, India, Asia, and South America, parts of South America. 
or Thursday morning, October 26 at 8 a.m. Chicago time, good for the USA, the UK, places in the European Union, Africa, and South America. The links are below or on my site at twinflamesmerge.com. Some additional information and supportive guidance are in two of my webinars that are previously recorded but are very helpful for this time. So one of the questions I get asked is, Patricia, if you've made these recordings before, are they still good? Yes, because many of you are either going through a cycle now, I've already gone through it. I've already worked out the ways and have much of the information in these webinars. The first one is the expansion of love, which will include information about the solar plexus and all internal areas. This is available on my site and harvesting your love, which includes the mental emotional karma, including mental emotional false twins, the grid work, how to do the grid work and what it is, because you will need to do this for your personal union. Heart communication and what it is, it is not telepathy. Also, the beginning information of the sacred sexual and what it is, twining together, flying and your intermobility chakras. Inter means that you share things. Do you know what you share? If not, come join and find out. So thank you for watching that and I will talk to you now. So some of what is coming up for November is a lot of the awakenings that you have wanted to happen are going to be happening. It's going to look a lot different than what you went through. So what your twin goes through is actually going to be very different, very much on a tight time frame, and it's incumbent on you to do your part. Now, a number of people sometimes say to themselves, you know what, I'm just tired. I'm tired. And when you're tired, you're not really at your best. How do you get the rest that you need so that you can keep going? If if your stamina is a problem, what do you do about that? And I have quite a bit of that information on how do you do this. I've been covering it through several of my live webinars. They are structured so that you can see a presentation such as like what I just presented. I open the floor for questions. You can listen as much as you want. You don't have to participate. I don't require it. And I lead you into channel opening exercises and some of the how-to with each one. Now, in a general way, this is, uh, this is going to be a big push here. And there's a lot of prep going on for the solstice. There's another wave that's going to be April of next year in 2018. So if you feel like you're in the wave for right now, Please get yourself ready. Please get yourself to where you actually are able to um, know through your body of what's happening. You have sh several shared body parts, and you may not know what those are because it is very different. So things that were taught in ancient Egypt, for example, are different. The ka, the ka, you are detaching from that. You're detaching from the old paradigm. You're detaching from parts of your soul group. And it's not comfortable for people. How do you get comfy again? But let me remind you, there's two of you. So uh, I hope that you can make it. Thank you to everyone who has joined. I would like to also let you know that um, there is quite a few people who have been very lovingly preparing themselves and their twin. I always encourage that because that is where it's going to be. So the priority, while some people would really like this to be about just snuggling together, the priority is about fitting yourselves together again. And that is what I teach. And you could think about it this way too. How do you stop those things that feel like deal breakers? When you have two people who very much feel the love, but one of them starting to go back to sleep or give up 
and the other one doesn't know what to do and is about to mirror that same thing. There's lots of mirrors going on. There's lots of parallel situations. There's sometimes both, each person is afraid to make any kind of move to change their lives in the right direction. And you have to be willing to be able to learn about this because it is new and I have quite a bit of the information. Now, some of the things that people don't really want to know or, um, you know, some of the negativity, I don't like to focus on that. There's a lot of bumpy stuff that's coming up for people. Believe it or not, some of that is very personal. It's the personal bumpiness that you've either been exposed to or unwillingly participated in. How do you get rid of it? How do you have a peaceful night? How do you have a home that is going to be your haven and not a battlefield? How do you do that? And that is a lot of what I teach. So I teach about the body. I know a lot about the emotional body. I know a lot about the psyche. I know a lot about things. And this is the metaphysical parts of both of you. Now, the reason that people have been very willing to kick the person who is not awakened is because you are believing in the head that that's the way to do it. Have a conversation or just tell them. You can't always just tell them because it doesn't always get through. The ego is still there and the ego will continue dissolving. Some of the other questions that are coming up in many ways, while they're very interesting to people, like about the rays, the rays I define as sort of a beam of light that you wrote in here on. What are you bringing to the table? Do you know? Maybe you don't know. Maybe you're still discovering this about yourself. Maybe you want to know more. I do talk about that. Those are some of the questions that come up. I don't answer questions about when is my twin thinking because there's a difference between the head and the heart. And a lot of people are having trouble discerning that right now. And it's important to get back to the heart. And that's what I help people do. Get back to feeling because it is all about feeling each other and feeling loved and supported and feeling like you are here for a reason. I've also seen a lot of people that are starting to have those existential questions. Why am I here? What is this all about? Why is it? So if this is new to you and you're starting to look back a little bit and say, I think I might be on a twin flame journey, but I'm not sure. That is something that I also help people with. So if you would like a spirit chat or a session, I do two types of sessions. One is to open up your channels. And the other one is uh, distinctly, if you just have questions or you need some guidance, I also do coaching. So thank you so much for watching. There's going to be a lot more that happens here in November. And I will be back with another video to let you know. Nobody wants to leave anyone in suspense, but this goes a lot deeper. And, you know, people are, you know, getting the information. But you're having trouble sometimes with timing of things. Maybe it's challenging to discern the timing. You're seeing things, you're getting visions, you're getting messages, but you're saying when. And that might, might be what you're struggling with. So some of the timelines coming up here, and believe me when I tell you, for some of people it's going to be November. For some people it's next April. There will be more people waking up. So if you've positioned yourself as a healer, be glad that you did that. But also be glad if you do any other kind of profession where you feel called to do it. If you do real estate, if you are a graphic designer, if you're a musician. I once had someone doing work in my house. I, you know, having some work done right now. And uh, as you can see, uh, things are covered with plastic. It's to minimize the noise from the airport. I blessedly was part of a program to get some of that done. And I waited three years for it. That's an example of timing. Uh, my guidance kept saying, wait, wait, wait. The day finally came because the funding finally came through for it. And it, I'm very grateful for it. So that's an example of how do you discern your timing? How do you discern 
when it is supposed to be that you jump or something that you really want that you're waiting for. And this is very important. So another, um, another thing to mention to you has a lot to do with why you're here. You're here because here is actually the new center of things. It's no longer in the Pallades. That might be something that people don't really know. This is, this is what you could call the center point or ground zero where you're doing it. You could call it your launch, launch and go. In fact, it feels that way to me. And lining you two up has taken lots of linear time. Getting the conflict out, that has taken time. Getting the template for new relationship, that has taken time. And now you have to customize it to yourself. So that is what I am teaching about, okay? And so if you are a person that feels called to, oh, I was saying about the, the work. Years ago, I had a little bit of uh, paint work done. And the young man was an excellent painter. But he took one look at my piano and he said, I could see the longing in him. And I said, do you want to play my piano? And he said, can I? And I said, yeah, sure. He was a natural. He, his, one of his dreams was to stop doing remodeling work and become a jazz pianist. And of course, I encouraged him. I said, go for it. You know, of course. But when it's something where it feels like the highest and best of you, what is your highest and best? And it may not be to ditch everything you're doing. It may be to do it in a higher, less effort way. That's some of the things I teach about in my abundance webinar. And what is the highest and best of you? What are you here for? What are you bringing to the table? You're here to be. You're here to be in love. You actually are already in love. And you're here to be who you came here to be together. So that is what this is about. And if you're going to see people get sidetracked out there. You're just going to see people get sidetracked. They took a detour, and some of you think that your twins have done that, but I'm here to tell you, no, not at all. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Watch for the links below. You'll see it, and enjoy your week. Okay? Bye.